hello guys in this video we are going to see how to use a mass and how to install it okay so what we have to do that uh, first of all see the like definition of it so a mass is developed by o OASP okay so it it is a network mapping of attack surface and intern sorry external asset discovery using port source information gathering and active reconnaissance techniques okay so it uses like many kind of apis certificates from google census search point and search sh search.sh facebook ct it also uses brute forcing routing through asn lookup bgp tools like many other tools are here and it also uses scrapping it also uses web archives like uh, public www and also uses who is data okay so first of all if you want to install it then you have to commit come to here and first of all i will go to this my home directory and then i will run a command sudo apt-get install emas okay so after providing the password it will install the emas okay so uh, i think this is not working right now so you have to install it with snap install emas okay so you have to provide the password so it is also already installed so uh, in your case it will be installing so so first of all uh, to see the help menu you have to write this command amas dash h okay so uh, you can see that it is quite a big tool okay so uh, you have to understand everything so there are also so there are also sub commands in it okay so this is like a framework okay so because it is developed by like uh, this OWASP so it is a uh, kind of framework so it is mainly used for network mapping uh, but uh, but we will only use it for our subdomain enumeration so we will only focus in here okay so to see this subcommand help menu so you have to write a mass and then enum and then dash h so you will get the sub to uh, sorry the subcommand uh, help menu so there are uh, many other things like active addr value and many things but we are focused on our domain search so you can also search for uh, one more than one domains and for uh, using uh, for searching for subdomains you have to write this dash d option or you can also use this brute force mode after so it will execute brute forcing after searches okay so uh, there are also many things like ip ipv4 json string and many things okay so uh, first of all i will clear the terminal and i will write this command and then i will write here hacker1.com okay so now it will enumerate subdomains for hack for hacker1.com okay so now you can see that it is enumerating subdomains for hacker1.com okay so what is the main thing that every tool is uh, not same and every tool will not uh, provide the same results okay so we have to combine many tools and many website data uh, for a big like subdomains that we don't miss out any subdomain because uh, uh, because everyone finds on the main uh, or root domain okay and uh, many uh, few people go to this subdomains like uh, may, so the, as you can see that it is a sub subdomain so I don't think so many many people will uh, go to here uh, the most of the people uh, will be focused on here hacker1.com and uh, it will uh, be very hard to find bugs so uh, like uh, you can see that it has enumerated this much subdomains I think all are like active domains because uh, it is it is like a mass okay so this is the ASN number you can also specify it for reconnaissance and you can see that here we will talk about this ASN number 
so uh, one more thing that it has uh, seven certificates to archives here and uh, the information that you can see here so uh, what happened that uh, you can see that it is using cloudflare okay for uh, like uh, WAF means uh, web application firewall and uh, it is hosted on Amazon AWS okay so as you can see that okay so uh, you can also use the dash brute option so uh, what this option will do that it will brute force uh, for subdomains okay so many times uh, what happens that it is uh, like it is not generating the subdomains it is uh, like getting all the subdomains from uh, other websites like other search engines and they have previously crawled and they have the data for like subdomains so from there uh, this tool is gathering the subdomains okay so uh, brute force is also a better option so it will uh, take very much time so i am stopping it here um, and uh, you can also send this output to a file and uh, let's uh, move to the next video